This is video number two on how to simply set up your launch pad with Logic Pro X. All right, guys, let's get to it. Okay, so now that we're color coded, right? Next step is going to be to bring this in. I'm going to copy it over. And now, once we go to the session view, right, you are going to see all the different like machines lit up. We can start jamming. Oh, okay. In order for this not to happen, because this could be a common mistake, the thing that you need to do is go to sequencer and then you want to mute all the sequencers. So the sequencers don't apply to logic or you can actually go into here, logic preferences, MIDI, and then we're going to go into sync and you can like turn this off. So like the launch pad doesn't affect this anymore. Then you go over here and let's say, okay, like, uh, let's go and like, okay, I don't, I don't want the kick on this one. So I'm going to delete it. So the first one is not going to happen. So you can start layering the track as you want, you know, just like dragging the loops that you already created. You can actually do that also in the launch pad. I found it as a little bit easier to do it with the mouse. So to get everything ready, just to make sure that everything is good to start jamming. So. If we wanted to switch this so we don't like make the mistake of like starting, you know, one of the pieces uh, of sound that we created in the wrong time, what we do is actually we're going to do it every eight bars or let's go to the end. So now we can start again. We can start recording one, two, three. So right now, even if I click this, it doesn't start until the actual loop is done which is really great if you're doing like a live session because then you can actually just like you know play it as as you would be playing it if you were like building a track and you're gonna see the big changes like right over here in the screen Okay, so now, let me see. I want to bring in the ultra membrane. Yeah, so you can start creating your ideas like this. Okay, so now let's say, okay, we're ready. This is something that we like. How else can we, you know, like take advantage of, of the chords, right? Because chords are great and we can do something a little bit more interesting with this. So let's go and pick Alchemy. Okay, that's not bad at all. So let's say we like that sound and we're ready to like record it in, right? Because now that we've been jamming, we can like record this in. So we go back to the session view and let's say we want to record it with like all the different elements that are happening. We're going to click over here. And then we can start putting in some notes, right? Perfect. <laughs> no, it's not, but you get the idea. So once this is ready, let's go back to session view and then, you know, we can play it out. So if you want to like stop all the tracks all together, let's stop it. And this is what we just recorded, right? Oh, and want to make sure that this also doesn't happen. As you can see, this was like I was late in, in trying to understand this. So the next thing that you do is you just cut it. So it starts there. And then now it reduces the, the loop. So it starts playing it, right? 
and then we can start playing. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. How you can like exploit this beautiful machine, the launch pad with Logic. I know it's been a long time coming for us Logic users to have uh, an actual controller that works, but hopefully this was helpful for you guys. And uh, yeah, just leave me a comment if you need help. Also, click, click. So just leave me a comment if you need help. Hit the bell, click subscribe so you can get more videos. Uh, all right, guys, peace. Boom, 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 boom. boom.